Today, we're in Salzburg, the third largest city in Austria. Join us as we explore the birthplace of the most famous classical composer, Mozart, where rich history and musical heritage meet and discover the city's best view from above. Get ready for your six-hour itinerary. This is What's Next with Myra and Danny, and Salzburg could be your next destination. Good morning, guys. Today we are in Salzburg and we are on our way to breakfast. If you watch our last vlog, we just came from Hallstatt. We are quite tired. We arrived yesterday evening to Salzburg. We just had a quick dinner and now we are ready to explore. So we just left the breakfast place. It was called the Heart of Joy. It was this very kind of traditional vegan place, yogi vibes. And there was kind of all this that's got hit by a car, spiritualistic like vibes going on. And um, they had really nice plates. I had a porridge with tons of fresh fruit and maple syrup. I had a vegan breakfast. Yeah. Which was nice. Nothing special though. And then it, it was accompanied by like specific tea. So I had a tea that I hadn't heard of before, but apparently it was meant to help my immune system, which is great because I'm very tired today. And also a freshly squeezed carrot and orange juice, which was really, really nice. That cafe, the Heart of Joy, was right near our hotel. Um, the hotel that we're staying in. Hotel Via Jarzeiten. We really liked it and what we found when we came in yesterday and when we first checked in. They'd left little hairy bows on the pillows, which is the most random thing I've ever seen, but I thought it was so funny and cute. So we are walking through the gardens of the Mirabel Palace. This uh, palace is located in the heart of Salzburg and was built in 1606 by the Prince Abishop Volf Dietrich von Reitenau, so very complicated German Austrian names. So the palace features very unique Baroque architecture and is surrounded by an amazing garden and fountains. So me and Maya, we really enjoy to come to these places. In fact, in Vienna, we live uh, very near to the Belvedere Palace and to me, they all look pretty similar in a way that it's just like a very nice picturesque uh, palace and they really put so much effort into the garden and make it nice and symmetrical with lots of flowers, everything really, really nicely shaped and um, looking kept. Yeah. almost too perfect. Yeah. So this is the other side of the garden and it looks like there is a small botanical garden inside there. So Maribel Gardens is pretty well known for featuring in the Sound of Music film. In fact, the whole of the Sound of Music was filmed in Salzburg. It's an Austrian film. I'm not a massive fan of the film. I was forced to sing it as a child, so I have weird trauma about it, but... She has like some PTSD now. <laughs> it's just not my type of film, but I can remember kind of the scenes in it and, and filming in Maribel Gardens and probably will notice around Salzburg the other locations where a lot of the famous parts of the film were filmed. Okay, so the next stop for us is uh, Mozart residence. Following on, we're gonna go to see also Mozart's birthplace. It's very important to say that obviously this whole city has lots of different areas dedicated to Mozart. 
lots of museums. A city centre square, Mozart Platz. Exactly, so we'll, we'll try to visit as many of them as possible. Thanks to the Mozart residence, I saw a sculpture in the square and I said that that looks like an Anthony Craig and it is because I know my sculptures. So right behind me in the old town of Salzburg there is the Mozart residence where Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart lived from the age of 17 and he spent in this residence the most productive years of his life. So the city of Salzburg were also famous for all of those shop signs, handmade shop signs, every shop exhibit, which every shop exhibit is really, really, <laughs> really, really nice, they're really, really nice and unique. <laughs> So all of the Mozart tourist attractions are relatively close together so as you're walking around you kind of hit different spots and you can find them by the crowd of people outside. So the next stop for us now is Salzburg Cathedral. It's around 11.30 and now we're going to see where we can go for lunch. We're kind of undecided between... Yeah, we are not sure if uh, go for a brewery, so have some classic Austrian food, so like schnitzel, uh, goulash mm. and sausages, stuff like that. Or go to a Lebanese place, which we really like, and we actually found one not that far from the city centre. What we've noticed walking around the cobbled streets, there's lots of these um, steep stairs going up to clearly where people live. It must be an amazing apartment. But there's also really nice coffee shops everywhere, unique independent shops that just look really cozy and nice. So we were just walking along the river on our way to this Syrian restaurant for lunch. The sun's come out, so it looks glorious. Lots of activity on the edge of the river, cyclists, people just basking in the sun, having a wine, having a Aperol. So after walking across the river, we ended up in a very wide square called Mozartsplatz. It's very close to the Salzburg Cathedral. Really, really nice with a very big fountain in the middle. And then you can get a horse ride. Lots of money in the fountain. Okay, so this place called 1111, as I mentioned earlier, it looks really good. It is a typical Syrian place, but it serves all these uh, classic dishes that you can find in Lebanese places. So me and Maya, we're gonna go for definitely a hummus, a baba ganoush, then probably a taboule, and then maybe like a kebab pella. We didn't feel like having some Austrian food because honestly, we're not massive fans of Austrian food, which is very, very basic in our opinion. So we are more for <laughs> this kind of food.
We're about to go up in the funicular to the fortress. We reach the top of the fortress. The view is stunning, mm -hmm. and, but bear in mind, guys, because it's actually quite high, so it's much more windy. Yeah, it's cold. And it's quite cold, so we are freezing. <laughs> We are currently in the castle on top of the hill. <laughs> so we've come to the end of our Salzburg tour and we just wanted to say a few things that we enjoyed the most about this city. So yeah, I do think it's a, a must-see visit in Austria. I didn't expect the city to be so modern and have so many places to go, and go for coffee, go for uh, aperitif. Many historical places, so yeah. it's a, this like, nice contrast between modern and historic. And the castle I think is a good visit, but I also, if we had more time, go to the modern art museum, which is also on the hill near the castle, um, but we just didn't have that much time here today. Yeah, and we didn't visit also uh, Mozart museums, which you can mm -hmm. find both in the residence of Mozart and mm -hmm. in the birthplace of mm -hmm. Mozart as well. And there is a Salzburg card that you can purchase that gets you access to all of these museums and I think you save a little bit of money but obviously if you just want to go to specific places it's cheaper to just pay for entry on site. So don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified when we have new videos coming out. Until next time. Ciao cacao. Maybe write out in a comment what you enjoyed more of Salzburg. What? No, this. <laughs> okay, what do you say?
<laughs> well, let me speak then. Yeah, go on. Like and subscribe so you can follow our channels and you can get an update. So don't forget to like and subscribe for our channel. I really enjoyed being here. I think it's a lot. <laughs>